somewhere along, along the lines I read that kind of across the nation, there's this movement for the younger generation that I don't even know what to call the generations anymore, but let's yeah. just say under yeah. the age of 30, where it's, it's kind of like they're pushing when, Hey, when five o'clock hits, you're done. Stop working for quote unquote, the man, yeah. you know, and if you need a mental health day, just take it. And if you need, you know, it's your birthday, just take the day off. And it's, it's curious because that's just not the way that I'm wired. Um, the people that I surround myself by are not really that wired. And like, I personally, I really struggle as a business owner and as a leader of how, how do you work with that type of personality? Because I think you could make it pretty personal, you know, and like, you don't want to cross that line and cross that boundary. And it's so I guess I like what any tips or tricks yeah. or no, this guidance is, on. Well, this is important while you're bringing up here. In fact, I was uh, one of the big defense contractors a couple of years ago before the pandemic and, and 300 people, senior leaders in the room, uh, multi, multi-billion dollar company. And, and we had some time for Q&A at the, at the end. And, and they brought up a lot of the things you're bringing up. It was amazing that every question was about this younger generation coming in. How come they don't get it? How come they, you know, and not one of the person was asking, well, what do we do differently? Because <laughs> they were all saying, no, 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 they have got to change. Now, you look at property management, you know, our customers have demands, you know, they need their, you know, my tap's dripping, I want it fixed today, et cetera. You know, you know all the demands of, of your of your of your working world. But if you keep thinking that you're going to be able to do things the way you did 20 years ago, you're going to be alone doing these. So the trend you're talking about of people, you know, it's five, I'm going home, you know, it has this term quiet quitting. And, and, and the idea is I've talked to younger people. They say, look, you know, I'm making barely above minimum wage. Um, I'm going to do what you pay me for, but no more. Um, because we used to think of it when we would start work back in my day, we would call them entry level jobs. Today they call them dead end jobs. And, uh, oh. yeah. And it's, it's a little harsh. It's like, what do you think you're going to promote me from this? No. And, and, and there's a lot of cynicism within this generation. And if you get them to open up and start talking to you, it's really, they, they have a term they call eat the rich. Um, that they right. all know about <laughs> and they all talk about and they all think we're a little bit of fat cats that are not all of us, but, but they're making money off of these people that are doing these menial jobs. So now I, I'm, I'm painting rather a bleak picture, but you got to open your eyes to see that the, the, the thought process we had coming in is not the same. And we tend to put on blinders and see everybody the way we are and they're not. And so with that in mind, you still need these people. You still need to get younger people. So how do you do it? Well, mm -hmm. it's being more vulnerable as a leader. It's actually caring about your people. It's amazing the, the loyalty that will come when you reach out a little bit. And you're a little bit more vulnerable, a little bit more caring about the people in your care. So, you know, it's, it's funny you bring up the word vulnerability. We, we, we are... Uh officially launching the EOS model in our business. And as part of that process, we had to redefine our values. And the one value that we came up with was be vulnerable. And well, what goes through my mind is, okay, as a leader, I'm choosing to be more vulnerable. I'm choosing to ask more, I guess, questions to get into their head and really see like, how are they doing actually? But when do you know you're about to cross that boundary right of going from manager mentor leadership whatever title you want to put on it that now you kind of are moving into that friend zone yeah or is, is that really what sounds like we're dating friends <laughs> or is that really kind of what they're looking for this younger generation that they're looking to be more friends with their managers and like, is, is there a line of delineation there? Oh, absolutely. You know, the, one of the ideas is you want to start with a work relationship. You're still the boss. You know, you, you don't want to be Michael Scott from the office, you know, <laughs> wanting to be everybody's best friend. That, that's not what we're talking about here. Well, you know, there's some really actually simple language is that you want them to open up. And so you use this term, I noticed. You know, I noticed TJ, you're usually the first here every every day. Uh, the last little while, you've you've been a little late. Is everything okay? You start with the work. I notice when we're doing our brainstormings in the mornings before we all go out. Usually, you have lots of great ideas. You're offering up all the cool things that are going on, 
you've been a little quiet lately. Is everything okay? You start with the work, but those two simple words are, I noticed, well, they translate to, I care. Um, but but you're not saying, gee, TJ, you got big bags under your eyes. Everything OK at home? You know, everything OK with the with the missus? And no, no. You're starting with the work that way. You're keeping this a, still a very professional relationship, but you're paying attention. And we used to say, look, leave your personal life at the door. That's not the way that especially anybody under 30 wants to work anymore. And really, nobody does. You know, we spend more time at work than we do or anywhere else. So. I want to yeah. know that my boss actually knows me as an individual, cares, and is paying attention, especially in you know in these tough times.